So carrying out an EICR today. Um, so far what we've been doing is just working out where the circuits actually are. Um, there's actually it's a three phase supply coming in and then there are four distribution boards um, coming off that. We've labelled this board up at the moment as board two. That's actually our phase number two. And this is the original board with all the um, labelling on. We don't, we've now gone through everything that's on there and we've actually found out and we've written down on a separate um, test paper actually what every single circuit is. Okay, and then this will all eventually be changed to marry up with that. Another thing that we have done is gone round. I'll take you into the kitchen for now. So this the kitchen is supplied from, from distribution board number two. And <clears throat> what we've gone, what we've done is on every single socket outlet or switch, we have also put a label on there to identify the circuit. So that means distribution board number two, circuit number nine. If you come over here, got some fans which are just out, out of the kitchen. Again, DB2, circuit number one. Again, the sockets are on there. The loft sockets, we haven't identified them yet. We haven't been up into the loft, so we assume they're on the same circuit, but we haven't done anything with that just yet. And there's the water heater. There's the um, roller shutters, again on circuit number nine. Um, we have the fans or a fan switch. Another circuit and another socket outlet. We have the cooker and then we have an extractor fan. So just by labeling, using the labels like this, it means that next year when we come along or the year after, when we come in to do the testing, we can just get on straight away. We know exactly where the, um, where, where, what, what board it's from, etc. And we can just get on and do the testing very quickly. It's obviously taking a lot of time to do this, probably taking a, a day or so extra of, of work to do this, but in the future, it'll make it so much better, hopefully. So again, here we are doing, carrying out the EICR. And one of the things that we have found, I thought, our best video and just show. So we've got two lights here, lights one and two, and that's in the main entrance of this particular building that we're working on. And then we've got one of the distribution boards, number two, and then we have another board uh, just along the corridor, board number three. So these lights are actually turned, um, are operated from circuit number three on that board there. So Dad, can you just on board number three. Can you just turn it off please? So as you can see, both of those lights have now gone off. Can you just turn it back on again just to show again? Okay, so as you can see they are clearly controlled from one of the circuit breakers down there. If we now come to board number two, which is on a completely separate phase as well, that's on one phase, this is on a, another one, all the circuits have been turned off. And if we turn the main switch off, you'll also see that they also go out. And so I'll just turn it back on and you'll see they come on. This is the main switch. Mm -hmm. That's the double pole yeah. main switch. Yeah, I thought we could get that done today, but we haven't. So what's been done is on this number on this circuit here, which operates, which feeds into the kitchen lighting circuit and things, there's a neutral conductor that's been going up into the roof that trap door there and that then also has been taken to feed these lights so the neutral conductor from this board has been taken to feed these two lights but the circuit has actually been taken from the next the other board 